Hi guys, James Wilson here from Ray White with another quarterly update. Well, at the time of filming this, we are currently not in a COVID lockdown in Melbourne, but as we know, these things can change really quickly. Um, and in a real estate context, last lockdown 4.0 was another example that buyer demand is still as high as ever, as strong as ever. And although we've seen stock levels increase over the, over the past few months, competition is still leading to premium prices. One thing I'm really grateful for is to work for Ray White, who've really led the way in providing us as agents with a reliable and COVID safe platform to conduct online auctions when we have to go into lockdown periods. So we can still provide our owners with the opportunity for a competitive auction. For example, I had one of four Dennis Street Croydon on the market for two weeks into its four week marketing campaign when we went into lockdown. Thankfully, we do 3D scans for all of our properties. So during lockdown, I was still able to generate buyer interest off the back of that virtual tour. And on the fourth week, we conducted an online auction. Of course, it would have been ideal to have physical inspections in the final two weeks of the campaign, but nonetheless, we had a fair bit of interest, so decided to push ahead with the online auction. We had three registered bidders and sold the home for $750,000 under the hammer. Uh, which was $30,000 above the top end of the range and $50,000 above the owner's res reserve price. Overall, our auction clearance rate for 2021 is just over 90%. A highlight for me was four of 26 Station Street, Fentry Gully, which went to auction on the 26th of June. It's a two bed, two bath townhouse in a complex of eight. We had a price range of 550 to 590. The owner's reserve price was 575,000 and the final sale price ended up being $700,000 on the day, which was $125,000 extra for the owners. Interestingly, uh, we had some pretty tempting offers come in in the final 24 hours leading up to the auction. Uh, one of which was 590,000, the other one was 610, so above the top end of the range. The owners decided to roll the dice, push ahead with the auction anyway, given there was a bit of interest um, and that natural competition did actually lead to the high price with those two offers being the final two bidders at the auction. What are we expecting for the next quarter? Well, typically winter in Melbourne does see less listings uh, and people sometimes hold out for spring and the warmer months. However, this year, feels like the weather isn't such a factor. The consensus seems to be that everyone just wants to make the most of non-lockdown periods and both buyers and sellers don't seem to be waiting for a particular month or season. As long as the market is strong and we're not in a lockdown or restriction period, everyone just wants to get on with buying or selling a home. So my advice to anybody is that now is a fantastic time to make the move. That's all from me. Keep warm this winter. And as always, if you'd like any real estate advice, just reach out.